battling the consequences of a grueling war, global energy, and food crisis, and the highest inflation in over 40 years, the United States economy has certainly seen fairer times. Previously the envy of citizens and residents of other countries, Americans now have little trust in this great democracy and previously invincible economy. For many of the population, the great American dream is fast becoming a myth. As dire as the situation is for the general population, it's even worse for two of the unluckiest generations that the world has ever had. For millennials and Gen ZS, who are working harder than the generation before them and earning way less, the future looks quite bleak and gloomy. Deloitte's Gen Z and Millennial Survey 2022 found that the cost of living is the top concern for 29% of Gen Z and 36% of millennial respondents. Data from the U.S. Federal Reserve also show that millennials dominate the U.S. workforce but are 10 times poorer than baby boomers, older citizens born between 1946 and 1964. According to the Fed's distribution of financial accounts, millennials and Gen Z don't have much to account for in the total U.S. wealth. In the first quarter of the year, boomers accounted for 44.6% of the total U.S. wealth. On the other hand, millennials only had 9.5%. The huge discrepancy in no way reflects that almost 80 million boomers retired during the pandemic and lost their paychecks, while millennials had to get second or third jobs to avoid becoming completely impoverished. Let's examine a quick analogy. In 1989, when most boomers were at the peak of their careers, the generation accounted for over 26% of the total U.S. wealth. Fast forward to 2022, when most millennials are at the peak of their careers, they hold a paltry 9.5% of the total U.S. wealth, while boomers still control over 44%. Most millennials have no personal savings, owe tens of thousands of dollars in unpaid student loans, and cannot afford to move away from their parents' homes despite working harder and for longer hours than prior generations. Welcome to Savvy Economist, and this is the sad tale of the unluckiest American generations. Please like, watch, and share this video to support our channel and its content. We also love to hear from viewers, so ensure you drop your comments and observations below and subscribe to the channel. Let's dive right in. According to a new survey by Deloitte, Gen Z and Millennials are very concerned about the current cost of living. And they should be. While growing up, these two generations were told to work hard, make good choices, stay in line, and get good grades. They were also urged to amass tens of thousands of student loans so they could get good jobs to pay up the loans and live comfortably. It all turned out to be a lie. The reality is far from the picturesque image that was painted for these two unlucky generations. After college, they found that the degree was mostly useless, the jobs very crappy with crappier paychecks, and the economy was right on the edge of a nasty collapse. They had done it all for nothing. Another survey conducted by the Aging Well Hub at Georgetown University's Business for Impact last October found that almost 50% of millennials in the U.S. live from paycheck to paycheck. The survey also found that most weren't saving for retirement simply because they couldn't afford to. Millennials and Gen Zs owe more than they save, can't afford to live alone, and have the fastest growing debt loads in the United States. In 2019, Business Insider and Morning Consult surveyed over 2,000 Americans and found that 55% of millennials weren't saving for retirement. In fact, a large number of millennials in this group didn't even have a retirement savings account. Not because they didn't want to prepare for retirement, but because they simply couldn't afford to save from their paltry wages. When asked why they weren't saving, two-thirds of the millennial respondents said they weren't making enough. Which was about right, because 70% of them said they were making less than $50,000 per year. Boomers experienced an affordable housing market that allowed 45% to buy their first homes between the age of 25 and 34. Millennials, on the other hand, have faced a starkly different economy and housing market. Only 37% of millennials between the ages of 25 and 34 are able to afford their own homes. Sadly, the situation is worse for Gen ZS. Like savings, Gen ZS and Millennials want to buy their homes, but they simply can't afford the huge down payments on desirable properties. A March bank rate survey conducted by research firm YouGov shows that 65% of Millennials see homeownership as a top sign of success. For Gen ZS, the figure is slightly lower at 59%. 
The survey proves that desirability is not the reason why many of the younger generations aren't buying their own homes. Weighed down by a badly inflated dollar, skyrocketing prices, low wages, and exorbitant mortgages, these two generations simply can't muster the courage to dream about home ownership or financial freedom. So, they simply bottle it all in and hope for a better future. But the future looks bleak and gloomy as the economy continues to spiral down uncontrollably. As a millennial or Gen Z, what was your biggest reality check when you joined the workforce? Please share your experiences with us below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.